Hi, well, I'm Dana Mizey, and I'm walking across Canada uh, via the Trans-Canada Trail. Uh, right now, that particular section is called the Crow Wing Trail. So far, it's been wonderful, well signed, very relaxing, beautiful country roads. It's also, from what I understand, a, a historical trail, as it was where they took the old, these old oxen carts, and it was one of the, the, first, the first highway in Manitoba, so to speak. Well, there's many reasons why I'm doing this. Um, one was just to explore the country and see it, and uh, I'd always had a dream to do it. And when I was 12 years old, my dad lost his ability to walk, and um, it took him years to walk again. So I just set out to do it. Um, my grandfather, too, was a huge inspiration for me to live my dream and, and, and to see the country one step at a time. So as I walk, I've been through all kinds of sorts of terrain, obviously. Uh, to get here was nearly 10,600 10, kilometers. And I gotta tell you, this was a real surprise for me when I go from the prairies and then all of a sudden I get to the, uh, the Russo River and uh, find this beautiful little, little valley. Now from a British Columbia's aspect, it's certainly unique and I thought that this was a real gem. When I, I couldn't believe it. I, I showed up and what a view and it's a, it's a great spot. And Manitoba period has surprised me in many ways. I think you learn to appreciate so much more uh, when you when you when you come to a place like this. It's it's fabulous. It's funny because the Trans Canada Trail is designed to connect communities and uh, not really uh, A and B. And I love that about the trail. Uh, it brings you through all these historical places. Uh, August first, uh, 1874. Uh, my family came over from Germany, southern southern Russia and uh, they landed at the Mennonite landing spot uh, at, the, at, the, at the corner of the Rat and Red Rivers. So from my understanding, again, they would have had to probably use one of these carts, uh, maybe a wagon, but could have very well been a cart just like this to settle the area where they eventually made their way to Niverville and then I know they went to Winkler. Now that's as, that's as far as I know. So not only am I walking a historical trail, for me it has personal significance as my great-great-grandparents would have had to have done this. All right, so as people can join in my journey, what I do is I have what's called a Spot Connect unit. Now, whether or whether or not I have cell service, I, uh, I link these, I sync them together, and then this sends a signal out so people can go onto my website, and it's called Find Me Now, and they can find where I am and zoom in, and it timestamps it roughly every 10 minutes. This GPS here is my proof in the pudding. It keeps all my stats, average walking speed, everything. So it tracks every step I take. And I upload that and I use it to build a map. Some people are in a hurry to get home and, and watch TV and I'm just sometimes uh, looking for a place to pitch my tent. And uh, I love that life very, very much. I'm, re I'm, I'm really privileged uh, to be able to do what I do. Um, I'm very lucky. This bridge here is a perfect example of how they come together, they engineer it by locals using the materials they had, and it's not perfect, but nor should it be. It's just people getting together and making things happen no matter what. And uh, it really shows the kind of commitment that they had to connect this trail. It blows me away. I'm, I'm so impressed with Manitoba. I cannot express it enough. Um, the people are amazing, and it's, 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 it's a destination place as far as I'm concerned. Um, yeah, I'm having the time of my life here, and I appreciate it so much. The fact that they, Manitoba tries so hard, and, and, and it's like they're doing so well, and they don't even know how well they're doing, and they still think they got a long way to go, uh, which is great. I shouldn't say anything other than that. Keep working. You're doing a fabulous job. You have to be here to experience it. You can't really just take my word for it. You can't, you can't. You gotta be here, you meet the people, you go through these communities, you learn a little bit of the history, 
easy to find. There's plaques all over the trail, and you'll be completely shocked and blown away by what you find here. It's a place, it's a destination place as far as I'm concerned. Get off the highway, north, south, left, right, whatever. Just get out there and take a look around, and uh, I promise you'll be back. I can guarantee you that. I can't wait to come back. I'm not even <laughs> gone yet. Yeah, this is great. For me, it's been a particular wonderful journey. Uh, these towns are perfectly well spaced. It's it's a beautiful walk. Uh, you can count on wonderful people, and it's been an amazing experience to be sure.